last week on The Carter Show. the Carter Show, blah blah blah. Breastfeeding. <laughs> Who's complaining about this? <laughs> I you always read those articles about women getting discriminated against because they're breastfeeding in public shopping centres and whatnot. Obviously women aren't writing the complaints. What man is complaining about seeing breasts? <laughs> Tonight, tonight is an angry episode. As promised, we're going to break some shit. Now, uh, you might be wondering what inspired tonight's episode of anger. Uh, this. So you're sitting at home relaxing, you say to yourself, hey, I want a little treat. I'll get myself a crunchy. You get yourself a crunchy. You bite into it. Oh, as usual, 9% of it is crunchy and 10% of it is violet crumble. 
If I wanted a Violet Crumble, I would have bought one. And the Oscar goes to... Matthew McConaughey. Did everyone say hello to my Gareth cameraman? Uh. Yep, I'm well aware I said Gareth cameraman. We're gonna cut that out, live TV, no, we're keeping it in, great. I'm dyslexic tonight. <laughs> hey, um, why don't we have Yoda on the cover of all the dyslexia books? <laughs> Think about it. Wow. If this is live TV, our graphics department is working pretty fast on that one. Gareth, dance you must. Gareth, I wouldn't call that an angry dance. Can we try that again, please? Uh, our first segment on tonight's show, I can't believe we haven't got sued for this yet, High Five a Rich Guy. Uh, as usual, in this clip, you might be wondering why I look two years younger. It's because we've hung on to it for a little while because we weren't sure if we were legally allowed to play it. We're still not sure, but no one's getting any younger, so yeah. Tonight's High Five Rich Guy, Paul Hogan. Hey, there. Yeah, Mr. Hogan, do you mind if I get a high five? High five. Done. Yeah. yeah, well, sometimes you are at basketball practice and you get a call from your producer saying this is the only time we can get a High Five Rich Guy from Paul Hogan, get over here now. Don't care if you've got fluffy hair and you're in your basketball gear. Come on, so get a high five. High five. Done. Your sex, right there. <laughs> okay, I've just been told that we're getting quite a few angry messages on our Facebook page about the dyslexia jokes we made before. At least I think they're angry messages. I can't really make them out. <laughs> It's an angry episode, and you know what really makes me angry? Commercials. Sorry. I was born in the night in a dark room. The sky was black, no stars, a new moon. There was a midwife, my mother, the old man was gone, so I had to be. Speaking of angry, uh, who do I think of when I get angry? Oh, I don't know. Beyonce? I hate that bitch. Um, <laughs> Aside from her being a horrible woman, I've met her once, she's not very nice. Uh, anytime you Google the Carter Show, you've got to get through 20,000 pages of her Mrs. Carter Show before you find me. Didn't really think that out when we named the show, but um, that's not our fault, it's her fault. So, you know what? She's made the list. Across to Mel in the field to add Beyonce to the people who want to kill list. Mel, you there? Yep, I'm here. All right, add up. Show the print photo again. <laughs> print. Hey, have you ever got pissed off? Well, you're in the right place tonight. 
I saw a clip of this place on Facebook and really hope that we had one in a city and we do. Basically, you have a bad day at work, you go down to the break room, you select a couple of bottles and plates, and you smash the shit out of them. That's right, there's a warehouse called the break room, it's run by a really nice guy named Ed. Pretty much grab a bat and you just break shit, and that's what we did after we had a chat with Ed, but then we broke shit. here at the break room with Ed. How you doing Ed? Hi. Yep. Okay, um, I'm gonna hold a bat while it's... Sorry, I'll hold your bat. Okay. Um, how did this start? This was, <laughs> this was my, my dream was always to just take my phone and just throw it against a wall, right? Reality Very kicks in Crow. pretty quickly. Ah! Yeah. I'm just getting popped up. <laughs> smash some shit. Yeah, go on, sorry. Reality sorry. kicks in pretty yep. quickly when you throw your $1,000 phone at a wall. Right. right. So I wanted a place where I could do that. No guilt. Good. Right. Good. And here we are. <laughs> any funny stories? Are there any um, girls or guys that have brought in frame pictures of the ex or uh, anything like that? Yeah, yeah. So we've definitely had uh, the, the classic kind of ex-husband's photos Good. have been Good. brought in and just, you know, just that very like Shania Twain, you rip them in half and you yeah. throw them at the wall. And, just get a little bit angry and sad. Most of us, I like to think if we're sitting at home in our chair and we've got some downtime, we flick on Victoria's Secret or uh, something Baywatch. Do you watch just sort of mega factories and demolishing? Just go, oh yeah, that's yeah. The shit. I, I love, I love watching one of those like uh, cooling towers, like those nuclear cooling towers, just explode yeah, and crumple in on dust. themselves. Oh, oh, shit. oh, so good. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> As a ratio, is it 50-50 with men and women coming in? So it's about 80% women. Okay. No shit! So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome! Absolutely, what? absolutely. Why? It's, it's kind of taught that you're not allowed to show your emotion, right? And this right. is a place where they can just get angry and have a good scream. Um, <laughs> why are the bats pink? So the bats are pink because uh, when we were looking into the break room, yep. we were thinking, alright, how can we add a little bit of, you know, calming to it, right? It's not all about the aggression. And really what that pink is, it was painted on the inside of violent inmates' cells. Did it work? Totally, totally. Okay. It's like forty percent reduction in violent incidents. With it is, these it guys. is soothing. Has anyone come in and just been like, oh, fuck, like, oh. and then just, <laughs> just, just, yeah, <laughs> we side their I'm way out. Way out of I'm it. all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone that goes in, they get their stuff. Like, there's nothing as good as grabbing a mason jar and just throwing it straight at the wall, right? Everyone that comes out, big cheesy grins, much, much calmer. I'm grinning now. Just picture just went, ah. Oh. Just the kidding, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> we won't set fire to anything today, we're just gonna smash some shit up. Bucks parties, hens nights. All of like the that. above. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, selection of bottles and things, what can you actually break when you come in? So what we do here is we give you a whole bunch of crockery. Mm -hmm. So there's like, you know, we've got mason jars, we've got some big tall glasses, we've got lots of plates, we've got lots of weird and wonderful shit. Awesome. We source a lot of our stuff from like, op shops. Yep, good. So all those weird, like the porcelain dolls, all those really ugly plates that yep. you get from Nana, uh, they come here and they, uh, you know, Get dealt with. And can you um, BYO anything? Absolutely, absolutely. If there's something that's been just driving you fucking bonkers, come here, smash it, we'll take care of the rest. Couldn't help but notice that there are four bats and about 18 screwed up bats. <laughs> yeah, we, we definitely encourage people to just just let go, right? Yeah. Like this, is, this is a space to just get destructive. Yep. And by virtue, you kind of, you will break a bat if they, uh, if it does come to that. Age bracket? Have you had any like, pensioners come in? Yeah, yes. so the oldest person we've had come in was uh, a bloke who was 75. It was his 75th <laughs> birthday. <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, his kids brought him in and they were like, all right, Dad, this is for you. Yep. And um, he had an absolute blast. That's great. <laughs> all right, um, I think it's time we smashy smashy. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's do it.
Jesus Christ, that was awesome! Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? It's as fun as it looks. Go down there, speak to Ed, say the Carter Show sent you, he'll look after you. Uh, you can't use the Batman helmet because that's mine. But there are plenty of pink bats that you can smash apart. Uh, we've got Ed's contact details somewhere. Put it up on the screen. Um, it was a gr it was a great day. Do it. You'll have heaps of fun. <laughs> All right. Gonna cut to a commercial break. Uh, we'll be right back. See you then. I was born in the night in a dark room. The sky was black. No stars. A new moon. There was a midwife. My mother. The old man. Was Did a surprise. Check out our first dinner surprise for the evening. It comes from Maggie. Hi, Maggie. You're very pretty. Oh, that was an unfortunate autocorrect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that one was kind of innocent. Let's uh, step it up with uh, Marshall. Let's see what Marshall's got to say. Hey, babe, what are you up to tonight? Hey, just doing uni work. You? Look, really keen on big foreheads. When are we doing this? Open our tastes. 
All right, now last Tinder surprise for the night is Nick. Let's see what Nick's got. Hey, I can't believe they let us use this app in prison. How's it going? <laughs> Okay, and our Tinder surprise profile of the night. I don't like the look of the thumbnail on this one. Let me just open this up. Yeah. Joke, 22. A plus if you wear my mum's perfume. <laughs> Didn't really need to read that, did I? He, um, he kind of had us at the... Is that one of those bubble sticks? <laughs> yeah. Alright, no. I like the door handle though. It's actually quite a nice house. Has he got an action figure on his TV behind me? Ooh. Alright. <laughs> and as usual, if you've got a Tinder surprise that you want to send to us, just screenshot it and send it to our email address or like the Card Show Facebook page and send the message there. <laughs> Um, hey, speaking of dudes I want to smash apart, Ask Canada? <laughs> Stephen Hawking is British, but his accent... Hmm. <laughs> Have you ever just wanted to win a text message fight? Send them this. Because <laughs> the dyslexia jokes weren't enough, we had to push it. Uh, that's all we've got time for on the show tonight. I want to thank Ed down at the break room. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. It's an awesome fun time. Just go down there and smash some shit. Uh, I want to thank Liz and all the staff at Soda Rock for letting us shoot above in our brand new studio. Stop by Soda Rock in South Yarra for a burger. I want to thank Gareth. Yep, Gareth. <laughs> Thanking you and everyone who sent in a Tinder surprise. Keep them coming. Send them to the Carter Show Facebook page or the email address. Uh, Mel, I'd like to thank Mel for being our uh, people to kill Crosser Offer. What do we put here in the credits? Just Mel. Alright, thanks Mel. Um, and I'd like to thank Regan uh, from Hit66 for being our in the field cameraman. He actually got in the break room with me and dodged a lot of glass. He's actually got a fear of uh, smashing glass. So I, I made sure he was in the room with me when I smashed it apart. Have we got a clip of Regan freaking out? Durable fuck. I'm putting that on a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, next week, um, I am... Um, I'm going to be honest, I skipped uh, rehearsal this week. I don't know what we're doing. But, um, I'm sure it's cool. You trust me, right? Good. See you next week. Good night, everybody. I remember hearing stories from my mother at night Fairy tales and fables as the fire burned bright And I was feeling back then what I would feel it wrong Reading words come from minds and bodies were long gone In the words I discovered thoughts so much like mine It seemed I must have been born at the wrong time Ooh. <laughs> you had to put my dick track in, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs>